Good morning students. Today we shall see the differences between respiration and combustion. Students, we have already covered an activity on combustion of glucose in lab. So, after seeing that activity, it is very easy for us to write the differences. Let us try. Students, we shall start with definition first. See the definition of combustion. What is combustion? Burning of any substance in presence of oxygen to get heat or light. So, even of the substance ni oxygen presence of one inch rapu, heat gani light gani uskundi, e process ne combustion under. Now, what is respiration? Burning of glucose in presence of oxygen inside living cells to get energy. So, ikada living cells lopala glucose oxygen presence lo burn hai, energy uskundi, a process ne respiration under. So, here it is glucose, here it is any substance. Here it is inside living cells, here it is outside living cells. Here it is heat energy and light energy, here it is chemical energy and heat energy. This energy constitute ATP and heat, right? So heat and ATP, chemical energy, here heat or light. So got it students? Next, combustion is endothermic. That means we need to give input energy. So to burn any substance, what we have to do? We have to heat it, otherwise it won't burn. So in our experiment also, we have seen that to burn glucose, we have given initial heat, right? So only then glucose undergoes burning. So combustion is endothermic, but respiration is exothermic. It does not need any input energy. We don't heat our cells to conduct this experiment. It happens spontaneously and energy is liberated. Here also energy is liberated but initially it is endothermic. Got it? Next, in combustion energy is released at once. Students, have you observed when we heated glucose, the heat energy has come at once because it is a single step reaction. The reaction occurs in one step. Once it is burnt, energy is liberated at once. Got it? But in case of respiration, it is a multi-step reaction, multi-step process. So energy is liberated in several steps. 2 ATP, 4 ATP, 8 ATP, like that. Energy comes in packets. Got it? Now, here in combustion, energy can be, cannot be trapped. Uh, it is liberated as heat into environment. So, in combustion, heat comes at once and we cannot trap it, energy cannot be stored. But in case of respiration, energy is stored as ATP and excess energy comes out as heat. So, first ATP form out of the inka extra energy and heat form of it. Because in combustion, the heat form of it is liberated, it is stored. Okay. Now, Combustion is uncontrollable process. Once we set fire, the reaction happens uncontrollably. We can't stop the reaction in the middle. So, once we heat the glucose, it combusts and liberates the products. We can't stop it in the midway. Got it, students? But this respiration is a controllable process because it is multi step one. At any step, it can be stopped for some reasons inside cells. So, it is a controllable process. Got it, students? Next, this combustion does not occur in water. So, if we take glucose solution instead of glucose crystals, this combustion does not occur and we don't obtain these products. So, likewise, even if you take firewood, dip that in water and burn, it does not burn, right? So, Firewood ni kuda meru nilalo atti burn jeste burn avadu. So in presence of water burning does not take place. But amazingly, amazingly in respiration, inside cell there are there is seventy percent of water and inside in that water media this reaction is going on. It is very surprising, right? So this combustion of glucose inside living cells occur in presence of water. This is very surprising thing. Next, combustion is a physical process, happens outside living cells. This is a biological process. Next, in combustion, charring occurs. 
So when we combusted glucose, when we burned glucose in lab, we have observed a black sooty substance, formation of black residue and that process is called as charring. This occurs in combustion but not in respiration. No such a charring occurs in our cells. So our cells are all under muscle and the aim form over them. Got it students? I hope you understood the differences now. This question comes out as essay question. Go through this question properly, understand the points and remember students. Thank you.